What's the question? It says, find the gradient and y-intercept of the following straight lines. Now, they don't ask us to draw this yet, but let's do it anyway. It's really, really quick, and that's actually the important thing. That's where these questions are heading. Okay, so we're doing this question, and the equation or the rule they give us is y equals minus 5x minus 8. Okay. Now we're being asked to find two things and then using those two things we can draw this, okay? We're looking for gradient and y-intercept. Now, the gradient and the y-intercept, let's just remember what they are. Gradient. Gradient is about how steep a line is, right? So picture a hill, okay? If it's just kind of like a gentle hill up you go, it would have a gentle, a low gradient, right? And if it was a steeper hill, it would have a higher gradient. What if it was downhill? Negative. It would have a negative gradient because it's, it's, it's dropping down, right? It's about rise over run, but you're not rising, you're going down, okay? So gradient, that's why another word for it is slope, okay, slope. The other thing we're looking for is a y-intercept. What does intercept mean? Intercept? It's where, the line is. It's where, they, it's where they, it, they collide, they hit each other, they intersect even. It's a very similar word, okay? So it's where our graph hits the y-axis. Where we hit the y-axis, okay? So that's what they are, but what are the values of the gradient and the y-intercept? You can just read them off the equation, right? Have a look. Yeah, good. You can see there's this minus 5 out the front, and that is the gradient. Hopefully, this is in your head from when we did coordinate geometry. Okay, if you can't remember that, go back and have a look at the past lessons. So that's minus 5. That's the gradient. Then you've got the other number, which is the y-intercept. Now be careful, careful. It's not eight. It's not eight. Negative eight. It's, it's, it's negative eight. It's got the negative in front. So it'll be negative eight. Draw a set of axes. Okay, did you start drawing set axes? Yep. You're ahead of me then. Uh, so when are we going to get a plant leave back? Yeah. Probably, yeah. probably, yeah. probably this week. Oh, this week? Really? Oh, actually, no, I'll take that back. I reckon it'll be early next week. Yeah, because we don't have another lesson. Yeah. We have one? Actually, I have to talk about that. We're from Friday. Well, it's all about it's all about lines, right? Okay, here's my set of axes. Now, just as a point of interest, you probably didn't draw your set of axes like this. You probably drew it. I mean, a kind of standard way of drawing a set of axes is to make it somewhat symmetrical, like that. Okay. Now, I wonder if you can see why I have drawn it like this. Because it's okay. negative. Ah, okay. So look at both these numbers. Ooh. I'm sorry, I should have. Yeah, you should have went. But that's, luckily you were right. Okay. Both of these numbers are negative. So that means number one, this y-intercept, it's going to be all the way down, well, negative eight. Actually, let's put that on now, okay? So if I've got zero up here, that's the origin. There's my y-axis. There's my x-axis. So here is where the y-axis is um, intersecting with the graph. So I'll just make that. Minus eight. There's no reason to put minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You just need the one that's important. Okay, so then I just need to draw my line. It has a gradient of minus five. So what does that mean? It means it's 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 dropping down. It's decreasing. It's it's not rising. It's dropping. I guess. Okay. Um, and it's a five. That's really really steep, right? You just gonna like drop off like that. So I'm gonna draw a line something like this. Oh wow. Oh, super steep. Okay. Now, okay. The next then logical question is, what's that value up there? Now, this question it doesn't ask us what that is, but you know what? We can work it out anyway. We can work it out anyway, and it doesn't take long. Okay. Have a look at this. See how this point here, this point here, it'll have an x coordinate and a y coordinate, right? Just like every point has. Every point has an x and a y coordinate, right? But you actually know what the y coordinate is, even though I've just drawn it really roughly. Maybe right? Think carefully. Y is about up down, right? Why is that up down? And this point is 
lined up with the origin, right? So, so everything along here, the y value is zero. It's on the axis, okay? So you can say with confidence, even if you don't know anything else about it, that point, it's y coordinate should be zero, okay? Because it's on the axis there. So therefore, in order to find out, well, okay, what's, what's the other number? What's the x coordinate? You take this rule, this e equation, this, um, this algebra stuff, right? And you say, well, what happens if y equals 0? If y equals 0, what happens to this thing? Okay. Well, there's, there's y over there. So I will substitute 0 for y. I get this. 0 equals this. Okay. And then you need to solve it. Now, I'll save you a bit of time. I can already see right now that the solution to this is going to be minus 8 over 5. You can go ahead and do the steps, test it out if you like, but that's the value you're going to eventually get. Okay. So that, that's the x coordinate, minus 8 over 5. Okay? So you're going to have to solve this to get this. Why is that 0? Because, have a look at this, right? This is, this is along here, this is the x-axis, right? Everywhere on the x-axis, the y-coordinate should be 0, right? Because you haven't gone up, you haven't gone down, you're equal to this, like, if you like, you think about it like this. This is kind of like um, you know, sea level or something like that. Okay? So it's like I haven't gone up, haven't climbed a mountain, I haven't dug down or gone into a submarine or something like that. I'm just at sea level. Okay? So everywhere here should have a altitude, I guess, of zero. Right? So that's why I know the y coordinate is zero. Ali. Um, so like, you can do that with any gradient and y intercept? Okay. Yes, you can. And that's exactly what we're going to do on the next question. So have a look at 2G. Okay? Um, I'll use this. So what's our final answer? <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's the final answer. I mean, what they wanted was this, and we also drew it. Often the, uh, the drawing, the sketch, is the actual question. Okay.